what's up and welcome back to my channel for another vlog i'm just gonna do a day in my life today because i am so jam-packed for the next couple of days i'm actually going on a trip later on this week in like a couple days and i'm super excited for it i'm gonna do like a whole separate video planning and packing for it i'm going to texas to visit kenzie by the time this video goes up i'll probably already be there it's gonna be like 110 degrees or like 105 degrees or something crazy like that so I don't know how I'm gonna do it, but I'm definitely gonna be vlogging while I'm there since I'm gonna be hanging out with Kenzie and we're gonna do like a lot of fun stuff and just have girl time. Yeah, so today I'm kind of prepping a little bit for the trip and like just doing things around the house. Before I go on a trip, I like my place to be clean. So I've been busy doing that, ran some errands, and now I need another cup of coffee. If you guys noticed, I added something new into my coffee and I wanted to thank today's sponsor, which is Earth Echo. I use their Cacao Bliss. This is a superfood elixir blend. You can add this into so many things. I just did it in my coffee since I was already having my coffee and it adds a nice flavor to your coffee as well, but you could add it. I've done in my morning like overnight oats. I've added a scoop of this. You could add it into smoothies. You could mix it with yogurt, which I think would be really good. So the Cacao Bliss helps to activate your metabolism and burn stubborn fat. It can also help with cravings. If you get temporary inflammation from exercise, it can help with that. There are 30 servings in this bag. Like I said, it says on here, it supports mental focus, boosts your energy and reduces cravings. I'm gonna drink some now because I think my coffee has cooled down by this point. It literally tastes so good with the coconut Nespresso pot. It tastes like a chocolate coconut coffee. It's delicious. So I've always known that raw cacao was really good for you, but I'm gonna read to you guys what it says on the back of the bag. It is one of the most powerful acting antioxidants. It promotes healthier looking skin, increases your energy levels and curbs everyday cravings. Another thing that's included in this superfood is MCT oil, which I have heard so many things about. People add that to their coffee all the time. So it's already in here. And you could even have this plain with some milk and it would give a hot chocolate taste to it. Like I said, I've been loving adding it into so many different things, but specifically my coffee just because it's so easy. I don't really have to think about it and it makes my coffee taste delicious. So if you guys are interested in giving this Cacao Bliss from Earth Echo a try, I'm gonna leave a link down below for you guys to go check it out. Thank you to them for sponsoring today's video. This is Molly from the future. I haven't washed off my self tanner yet, so I look a little bit crazy, but I wanted to let you guys know that if you wanna try Earth Echo for yourselves, I do also have a discount code. It's Molly and that's gonna give you 15% off. I will leave all the information in the description box down below, the link to the website, everything. Definitely check it out for yourselves. Add it to your coffee and let me know what you guys think it is so good and so good for you my fridge has been making this noise for the past couple weeks the ac just turned on so you might not be able to hear it but it's like this and i don't know why but i have to like change the temperature of my fridge to like a different temperature than what it was at and then it stops making the noise but it drives me literally nuts yeah i'm gonna have my coffee like i said i've been cleaning i've kind of just been doing some things around the house and then i went to actually walmart which i never go to walmart but it was in the location of where I was driving already and I got some counter cleaner spray and a little mini thing of laundry detergent because I just didn't feel like carrying to be honest the big one in because I also got cat litter it was a very heavy heavy haul of stuff like nothing exciting I need to start planning out my outfits that I'm gonna wear in Texas tonight because tomorrow I'm gonna be so busy and just in general I feel like I have no time to like waste like i need to just make sure i'm doing everything right if you're from boston or you fly out of logan you know the whole drama with the tunnel being closed so i think i'm gonna be taking the bus into the airport yeah my flight is unfortunately out of boston at this time and not providence so it's just gonna be a little bit of a struggle because in order for me to get to the airport i have to normally take the tunnel but the tunnel is closed and everyone's saying that there's gonna be like so much traffic my flight leaves at 7.30 and they're saying that if you take the bus, it's going to take you like two hours to get to the airport or like prepare for it to take up to two hours. So I would need to leave from the bus at like 4.30 or something. Ah, you get where I'm going? Like basically moral of the story, I am not going to be sleeping tomorrow. I wish I thought about this while I was at Walmart because now I'm gonna probably have to go to Target because I want to do something with my nails, but I just don't have time to go to the salon. I need to figure out my toes as well because my toes need to be done somehow, but they have like gel on them and acrylic. Don't ask me why I agreed to do acrylic on my toes. I just wanted them to be super square last time I got them done and I'm regretting that now because now I want to do them on my own and there's like acrylic and gel on them. So I need to get like a file 
and some nail polish for my toes and then i'm thinking for my fingers maybe i'll do those like stickers that you file on i've been picking at my nails so much recently though and they need like some major tlc so i definitely need to get a nail file and fix this because i don't know i just like don't feel like going to the nail salon but i don't want them to look terrible but the thing i think i'm gonna do right now is take a shower and use my trusty dusty dp hue i just got a new one from ulta this is the strawberry blonde my strawberry blonde obviously like i don't know at this point like a couple weeks ago and it's just like my roots still have some red to them definitely but the rest of my hair just looks really blonde already and i just want it to look more uniform so i'm a little nervous to do this right before a trip but i'm gonna add some of this strawberry blonde dp hue into my hair the only reason i'm a little nervous is because last time i used this when i was blonde it like made my hair bright red and i don't want that i want like a nice strawberry blonde so we're gonna see what happens i'm very scared if you guys have been following me for a minute i did this like two years ago and i thought i used like a brown shade of this when my hair was blonde and i thought it was gonna make my hair brown and it ended up making my hair red and that's why i like like myself with red hair because it was all an accident to begin with and then i ended up really liking it going red now i went back to blonde and then i went strawberry blonde and it didn't stay it didn't last in my hair the dye didn't i'm a chatty kathy every time i start off a vlog my intros are like 10 minutes long but yeah we're gonna try this out basically if i remember correctly what you do is i'm gonna wash my hair this is it's technically like a leave-in conditioner too so i think i'm gonna shampoo my hair i don't think i'd add my own conditioner it says it, your hair should be clean and damp so i'm just gonna shampoo it since this is a deep conditioner and then you leave it on your hair for three to 20 minutes and rinse thoroughly i also forgot to get gloves because i normally would use gloves with this but i forgot so we're gonna go barehanded i need to teeth whiten <laughs> i need to figure out what i'm wearing i think i look any tanner do you see that tan line right there oh yeah do you think i look tanner i feel like i just look like a different shade of pale but i've been trying to lay out a little bit more to get some color on me i mean you can see my tan line but it's not doing too much i am a sweaty mess it is so hot out but i just decided to go to target i just got back it was quick in and out press on toenails and i was debating it for a really long time but they only had like this iridescent white and if i did it i would either want like french on my toes or just plain white so i was back and forth on it and the, the toe the big toe looked kind of small and i was just afraid i'm like if i commit to that like and it doesn't work out that'll stress me out even more so i just got three things from target and i wanted to go now because i just once i shower and stuff and like do the whole process of trying to make my hair more red i feel like i'm just gonna want to stay in like i'm not gonna want to have to go out after that then i'm gonna do they're by the olive and june brand this is the color it has this little hole right here that you can stick your finger in and kind of see what it looks like with your skin tone again i was back and forth between white and a color i normally like neutral nails and i figured this was like a safe bet they kind of look a little bit longer even than like what i would like my nails to be because i want them to be pretty short and i definitely don't want any of them to break so i might file them down even shorter and make them a little bit more square because they're a little more like what is this style oval than square and i like typically a rounded square so we'll see how these go i might do them tonight but then i'm like should i do them tomorrow like the day before i leave i should do them tonight and just like see how they even stay on because what if i do them tomorrow night and then they all like fall off in the morning i want to make sure that they like at least stay on for more than one day okay luckily this didn't break i just dropped it. it is the la girl gel i forgot to get a base coat and a top coat though i'm just now realizing that so hopefully just this one white nail polish will be okay it says gel like shine no uv needed and i just got it in this like white shade I figured white was like a safe bet and then i got this like what is it tip to toe all you need for feet and hands little nail kit it has like stuff that i won't even use but it has you know the filers the clips and the sponge things that like sand your nails down listen i'm not really the best of this kind of stuff but i'm gonna try and make it work because the nail salon normally when i go it takes like three hours and i don't even think um my nail salon will have an appointment available for me tomorrow so i need to somehow make this work and if it doesn't work maybe kenzie will want to go get our 
pedicures and manicures in Texas. Maybe she needs one too. I should probably text her. I probably should have texted her that. No, going to the nail salon has just been so annoying to me recently. So hopefully these work. I'm so sad because tonight and tomorrow is Drake's concert and I just got invited to go and tonight and I want to go so bad, but I'm like, Molly, you literally don't have time to like get ready for a concert and be out all night tonight. Like that's just not logical. I wish I was like Alex Earl and had like all the energy in the world to do everything without like ever sleeping. Like I wish I could be that person, but I'm just not. Like if I go to the concert tonight, I'll be out of commission for like the next week and I need to have energy for Texas. So I'm gonna hold off on all of that. I am out of the shower, brushing out my hair. It says to use, I need to go get the DPU. It's out in my kitchen, but it says to do it on damp hair. So I think I'll probably wait I don't know. Oh, I have like a pimple coming in right here. What the heck? I have been breaking out in the most random spots lately on my face. I haven't done this in so long, so I kind of forget how to do it. I used to be a pro at using this temporary dye, but anyways, I thought I would also mention the shampoo and conditioner that I've been using recently that I really like, and it's really affordable. I found it at Target. It's the Monday hair care. I think I've heard of this brand. I think I've seen people talk about it before, but in comparison to like more expensive shampoos, I think that these were like maybe less than $15 a piece. So $30 total, which is pretty good because lately the shampoo and conditioner game has been like, if you want to get more of a luxury shampoo and conditioner, it's like $50 a piece, like $100 for shampoo and conditioner is wild to me. But I also don't like using stuff that like isn't good for your hair because obviously I'm trying to grow out my hair as much as I can, but it's just growing at a snail's pace. So I don't know. But anyways, I've really been liking this shampoo and conditioner. This is the moisture conditioner and I got the color protect shampoo. They had like a bunch of different things for a bunch of different goals, depending on what your hair goals are. But overall the product is really good and it washes out of my hair pretty well. Cause I had this other one, let me, let me get it. When I went to the Bahamas, I used this and I kept it in my shower, but I do not like this at all. The Vegamore Grow Revitalizing Shampoo and Conditioner. I found this at Sephora. And I think these were like literally probably the same price as this in the travel section of Sephora. And I do not like this at all. It did not wash out of my hair. And I've never had that problem before. Oreo, stop. I never had that problem before, but it just wouldn't wash out of my hair. And every time I would get out of the shower, my hair would be greasy. And I would like try so hard to get it out of my hair, but it would just never wash out. I don't know what it was. My cat is using the litter box. So I'm gonna go for a second and try and find some rubber gloves. And then probably in like five minutes, we'll start dyeing my hair. And I'm scared. I found one rubber glove underneath my kitchen sink. So we're gonna make it work with one. I guess one is better than none. Again, this is what the gloss looks like. The color is a little intimidating, but I'm hoping it gives a little bit of a color payoff. So I sectioned off a little bit of my hair. I didn't do it like carefully. Maybe some of you guys are getting deja vu because I did do this like just about a year ago. Oh, I really wish I had a second glove. I'm just gonna, I guess, get my left hand pretty dirty. From what I remember with this, I use a lot of products, like probably half of this bottle I will use, um, getting my hair as saturated as I can. I should have probably thought about what I was wearing more because I'm afraid it's gonna get on my skin, but I'm just gonna keep applying this all throughout my hair. And then as I go through the sections, I'm gonna brush it. Okay, so far so good with like not dyeing my hands a color. Like now that I have this section done, I'm just gonna like brush through it. Don't use a brush. I remember for this from last time, don't use a brush that you use for your hair regularly because then it'll just like have color on it. But this is like a, a good brush to use for this. So I'm gonna brush it through because I don't want like certain areas to be more saturated than others. I'm looking at it and now I'm wondering if I should have gotten the copper shade because this feels like it's not gonna do too much actual color change to my hair. We're gonna have to see, but I'm hoping for the best. Something is better than nothing because it was just, my ends were just looking too blonde. So I'm gonna continue this whole process across my whole head. I hope I don't end up regretting this. 
I washed off my hands, but you can see it did kind of stain this hand a little bit because I ended up just having to go in with both hands. It was just too hard to do with one glove and I felt like I wasn't really getting everywhere all coated, but I used this mirror and I looked at like the back of my hair and I think I got it coated as well as I could. I only ended up using like maybe a fourth of the product. So I don't know, I'm a little bit nervous that it's either going to do nothing or it's gonna turn my hair like bright red or like a, a weird type of red color, but it is slicked back, deep conditioned in. Oh, I need to put a timer on my phone for 20 minutes. Let me go get my phone. Okay, it's 6.41 now. I think I'm gonna put, uh, I'm gonna do a 20 minute timer and we'll see how I'm feeling when that's over. So at 7.01, we will see how I'm feeling and then I might do another 10 minutes. I feel like my tan looks a little bit better in this lighting. I'm like, wait a second. I actually naturally look like I have a little bit of a glow. And the good thing about when I get a little bit of natural color is once I apply my self tanner, it looks from what I've noticed so much darker. I just got something in my eye. So I had to take my contact out. <sighs> it's giving red. I already sectioned my hair off a little bit. I was going to wait for it to air dry a little bit more, but I don't think I can wait any longer. I'm just really nervous to see what it's going to look like when it's dry. I'm just afraid that it's going to look like too artificial red kind of look. I don't think I can do about it now. So whatever we end up with, we end up with. It definitely did something. I mean, it did what it was supposed to do. I just don't know if I'm going to like the color. I put on a sweatshirt because... My apartment is very cold right now, but let me grab my Dyson and let's do this. The only thing that I don't like about this bathroom is there's only one outlet. It's so annoying. Let me shut that. I don't like the way it looked when it was open. Okay, I'm gonna speed through this blow dry and you guys will see at the same time as I do what this ends up looking like. blow dry people and I actually kind of like it I was looking at the back of it ignore the fact that it's not completely straight because I just got too hot so there's like bumps in my hair but I think overall it doesn't look half bad like I think I did a pretty good job let's just do my eyebrows really quickly I kind of forget how I used to do this I think I'm gonna use yeah I'm gonna use a q-tip and put some of this on the q-tip oh and then i just put it on my brow you don't want to leave it on too long or else they'll be like bright bright red but it does fade super quickly as well it makes you look a little bit crazy i have a headache i need to eat something right now i'm just gonna take a wet tissue and kind of wipe off the excess in certain areas and i'll probably leave this on for like five minutes before i wash it off i just took all the product out like i said i probably left it on for like four minutes and you can see it added a lot of color it will fade but i think it just looks so much better sorry my cat is using the litter box of course they have perfect timing every single time yeah i just think that the like red tints to the brows looks makes my reddish hair look more natural and that's kind of what i'm going for when i go back to the salon i'm definitely gonna have her do more strawberry blondes than she did last time because i want it to 
last a little bit longer, but overall I think that I'm pretty happy with what the DPQ did. Just in case you guys wanted to see, here's what it looks like in more natural lighting. I think it looks good. I'm happy with it. The hair looks so cute in this lighting. I kind of want to try curling it tonight and see what it looks like since I'm not actually going anywhere. If it looks terrible, then I can just ditch that idea. But I haven't curled my hair in probably like ever since I took the extensions out. I haven't curled my hair just because it's two mismatched layers and it can kind of look weird with curls in it. But since it has been growing, I want to see if it looks better. I'm so thirsty right now and I'm so happy because I finally got um, Netflix to work on my TV out here. I don't know why I was working in my bedroom but not out here. And there's been so much stuff on Netflix that I wanna watch but I rarely watch TV in my bedroom. So I finally like uninstalled the app on my Apple TV reinstalled it and now it's working just took out a wine glass though because i want to have some kombucha this is the kombucha sorry i'm talking over my tv i'm too lazy to go pause it right now this kombucha is the health aid passion fruit tangerine i don't know if this is new for this season i used to like the pink lady apple one but this one blows the pink lady apple out of the water it is so good and it's a really pretty color let me lower it down so that way you can see. I just like spilt it everywhere, but let me focus on pouring it in. Look at how pretty. And I swear this flavor doesn't taste anything like any other kombucha. A lot of kombuchas, I kind of like low key force myself to drink them because I'm like, oh, it's not really even that good. This flavor is so good. Actually just so good. Like this flavor changed my life. I don't know if they have it at Target or 